What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we are back with another dino build and today we are taking a look at none other than the Griffin. As you can obviously tell from the title and the thumbnail and everything else. So what we do in these dino builds is we essentially go through all the dino's abilities and then we go through some builds that you guys can use for these dinos or creatures or whatever the heck you want to call griffins, mythical logical creatures. We'll go with that. So pretty much what we do, like I said, we go through their abilities and then we tell you guys what you should pump up, our recommendations of what you should pump up on them for particular builds and roles that you want to fulfill with these dinosaurs. So for example, you could use griffins for pretty much anything to be honest, but they'll mainly be your main flyers and damage dealers. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Now, we're just going to quickly go over the Griffin's abilities. Now, there's a few abilities that the Griffin has. One, it has the ability to pick up small creatures. So other players, Dilos, Overraptors, Dodos, you know, those small kind of ones. Microraptors, Pigomastixes, all those kind of guys. Now, as well as that, they also have the ability to pretty much, I guess you could say, glide, soar through the air. So you can see we're coming up here. So pretty much what they can do is they can plummet straight down. There we go, you can see there, and that allows them to pick up insane amounts of speed, and you can pretty much just traverse the map in a very fast time by doing it like that. Now, these guys are only available to tame on Ragnarok, so do take that into mind as well. But while they do this ability, they actually have the ability to slam into the ground and do a ground pound attack. You can see there, that is their ground pound attack. Now, that actually does three times the amount of their regular attack. So whatever your regular attack is, multiply that by three and you'll find that that is how much damage your ground pound attack does. Now you do need to have a set a uh, particular amount of momentum behind you to actually pull it off. So do take that into mind as well. But the final ability of the Griffin is that it can actually do a drive-by, essentially with its claws. So once you get enough momentum, we just have to find something to kill. Here we go. We got something down there, an Allosaurus. So once you actually build up enough momentum from being high enough in the sky or from flying or whatever, you can actually press your primary attack and you'll do like a swipe attack. We'll show you here with this Allosaurus. So if you pull up, there we go. You can see there, that was the swipe attack. So that actually does 10 times, no that's not right, I think it's 8 times the amount of damage that your primary attack does. So you saw there that we're able to pull that off on the poor Allosaurus. So this actually leaves the Griffin as one of the stronger DPS dinos in all of Ark because of that particular ability that it has. However, like I said, you do need to have a particular amount of momentum behind you and whatnot. So what now, what we're going to do is we're going to showcase to you guys the ground pound attack on the Allosaurus. So you can see it just there. So we're going to slam straight down on it. Now you do have to make sure that you don't land on the actual dino itself. Otherwise you can see that it won't actually work as well as the surrounding terrain. Otherwise it, it can stuff up. It's really buggy sometimes. It's really frustrating. I know it's happened to me one too many times. So let's pull this off again and showcase to you guys what it's able to do. Oh my God. We've pressed the sprint button. Sprint. They're sometimes really buggy as well. I don't know if it's just me or if it's just in general, but yeah, I seem to have a lot of trouble trying to do stuff. There you go. You can see there 263 from the ground pound. Now the ground pound does have a larger radius than the swipe attack that you do while diving, so do take that into consideration as well. Alrighty, now that we've showcased to you guys their uh, skills and talents, let's get into some builds. Okay, so this first build is the combat build for the Griffin. So as you guys saw earlier, these guys can hit really, really hard. So for this particular build, you pretty much want to dump a ton of points into melee damage. Now, the Griffin already has a pretty decent amount of base health, depending on what level you actually tame it up. These guys, like I said, are 150 tames, so you have to take that into mind as well. If you're not going to find, if you can't find a 150, you're not obviously going to hit as hard. You can't breed Griffins either without the assistance of a mod on PC, as far as I'm aware, as well. So once you've got a decent amount of melee damage, you then want to pump a few points into stamina. Definitely always pump points into stamina on a Griffin. I'd easily take it up to 1,200. Don't worry too much about your health. If you've got about 5k health, you'll generally be okay because essentially what you can do is you can pretty much hit and run tactics. You know, you can fly up, you can dive bomb them, hit them, and then you can just fly away and get out of there. They are one of the faster flying mounts in all of Ark as well. They are as fast as Wyverns, but they are faster than Pteranodons. So you've, they've got that going for themselves as well. But like I said, you guys saw how much this one was hitting before on that Allosaurus. It's hitting about 430. So is that a tamed T-Rex? Is that one of our tamed ones? Yes, it is. So we're going to find something wild to kill. There we go. We've got a Diplodocus over here. And we'll showcase to you now how much damage we're actually able to hit with the Griffin's various attacks. 
So first off, his foot basic primary attack now hits double what he was hitting before. Before he was hitting 61, he's now hitting 121. That is a big difference. So you should expect our dive bomb attack to at least be uh, 400 and our diving swipe attack to at least be 800. So let's test these out on the Diplodocus. Rather large target, so we kind of can't miss it. All right, here we go. Now you can pull up a little bit and do it while uh, flying horizontally as well. You don't actually have to physically be diving, but you saw there, 848 damage. That is a lot of damage. You know, and considering you're a flying creature, so you can easily dip out of there once you've done the damage that you want. That's a pretty good amount of damage. You can see there we're able to hit it off again. Now, sometimes you can actually pull these attacks off twice in succession. However, you do have to be flying uh, horizontally and, you know, obviously keep pressing the button. So that was his fly diving uh, claw attack. Let's just do the dive bomb attack. We'll showcase how much damage that does. There we go, 519. That poor Equus just caught the blunt of it and it just went down without a fight. So, you can easily use this method to take on Alphas, even, you know, Alpha Rexes, Alpha Carnos. Granted that you don't get stuck in them, but like I said, you can easily just fly away if you're taking too much damage and get out of there. It's, it's a great build to use and you can easily use it for PvPing as well. Just be careful that you don't get sniped off your Griffin and that you don't get caught in a cluster of dinosaurs. Because the Griffin doesn't have saddles, so it doesn't reduce any damage, and you can easily get stuck inside of dinos. So do take that into mind as well, but that is the first build of the combat build for the Griffin. So let's move on to the next one. So this next build is pretty much the mobile taming platform. So if you don't know, you can actually have two riders while being on a griffin. Now, as well as that, you actually have the ability to use weapons while being on a griffin. So just give me two seconds here. Wait, what? We just enabled creative mode. Okay, there we go. Let's do that again. There we go. Did it work? So as I was saying, you can use the Griffin as a mobile taming platform because you can essentially still fly it, still steer it, and fire tranquilizers into a potential victim dinosaur. Now you can also have, like I said, another player on the back of the Griffin firing away with you. It's a great way to go about taming stuff, especially dangerous stuff such as Therizinosauruses. You know, if you don't want to bother building a trap up, you can just tame up a Griffin, fly around on it, and you know, just easily maneuver around it to uh, tranquilize it. Granted, it can be a little bit, uh, a little bit buggy, not buggy, I wouldn't say, but a little bit tedious because the Griffin doesn't really turn all that well. But, you know, you can still easily pull it off. And if you do find yourself into danger, simply fly back and you'll be safe. You know, you can still shoot through the Griffin's head. And like I said, you'll have your teammate or tribe mate behind you shooting into it as well. Now, for this build, you will want to pump up a lot of stamina. Now, you can see here the Griffin stamina depletes pretty fast, to be honest. Now, you do want to pump up as much stamina as you could possibly think you'd use. We're going to fly away from this spider before it decides to web us. There we go. Oh, wrong one. So here we go. So you can see there, 1500 Griffin. I would at least take the stamina up to at least 2000 myself because it just helps to have that extra stamina. And then you want to put some points into weight because you yourself and your tribe mate might be geared up heavily and, you know, you could easily just turn weight into nothing with the amount of gear that you could carry potentially you know say you can carry 300 to try making carry 300 already that's 600 weight on the griffin so you want to pump that up a little bit as well there you go i'd take it up to at least 900 and then it's up to you how you want to distribute the rest of your points now a little side note with this build is you can actually as well turn this into Kind of like a, uh, a dogfighter kind of scenario where you fly around on your griffin and you just go around shooting stuff. You know, enemy players, dinosaurs, enemy players in general. You can bring along fabricated sniper rifles and just hover on the griffin in midair, you know, while you take pot shots at the enemy. Now, for this as well, you could spend the rest of the 20 points that we have available, for example, into health to make sure that you survive an encounter with this. There you go. You can see they're already just under 10k health with that. Now, do take into mind these stats are official, so all these is uh, basic arc as well. So none of this is boosted in any way. 
But like I was saying, with that solid amount of stamina, you can easily just chill in the sky with your try mate, taking pot shots at the enemy, which is great. And you know, if you don't want to do that, well, then it has a PvE purpose where you can fly around taming up Quetzals, taming up anything on the back of a Griffin with really relatively easy amounts of uh, difficulty. So you can see here, you know, like we've already demonstrated it to you, we've done it with the Diplodocus. You can fly around to take, okay, you, you can't obviously tame up Equuses using the knockout method, but yeah, you can easily fly around knocking stuff out. It's it's great, you know, and if you are PvPing while players aren't online, you simply hover above them, say they've got T-Rexes coming after you, hover above them and you just take pot shots at them with flame arrows, shotguns, whatever the heck you want to use on them. It's great. So yeah, that's uh, the uh, dogfight slash aerial uh, taming platform build. Alrighty, now this final build kind of doesn't need its own little class. You could easily get by by using any of the other two builds we've showcased to you. However, this is just in case you guys want a little bit of a clarifier. For this build, this is the Wyvern Egg Gathering build. As you guys know, Wyverns are very fast creatures, and Griffins are actually the only thing that are able to outrun them, unless you have a Tyranodon with extremely high stamina, and you can just barrel roll your way out of there. Griffins are the only ones that are actually able to outfly Wyverns. So for this build, you will need to pump up a lot of stamina. You know, like I said, but you can use the previous one, the the uh, mobile taming platform, you can easily use that build as well for this because they have plenty of stamina on that build. However, like I said, you want to pump up stamina a lot and then the rest you can either turn into health or you can easily put into uh, weight as well. Like I said, this is very similar to the last build. I didn't know whether or not to include it, but I thought it included it anyway just for you guys. Now you can do that, there we go, and boom, bada boom, you're set. Now, if you don't want to uh, actually outrun the Griffins, you can just straight up kill them using the first build that we showcased to you guys. That melee damage with the swipe will easily fell the Wyverns in a couple of hits. So, it's all entirely up to you how you want to go about playing your Griffins. So, okay, we've got a Wyvern over there. Now we just need to find an actual egg. Okay, so yeah, like I said, you can easily outrun uh, Wyverns with Griffins. Just got to find an egg to grab. I think there's one down there, actually. We're just going to wait for the stamina to come back up. This is why you need solid stamina for, because these guys will pretty much aggro on you for a very long time until you actually get out of render distance, I'm pretty sure. But you did pump. You want to pump up the health as well, because these guys will hit hard. You know, you saw there that lightning wyvern did hit us pretty hard. We're not even going to bother. Oh, we should take an egg, because then it'll, it'll showcase to you guys that we're actually able to outrun them. But you can see, even if you've got a bit of health on it, it actually helps a lot. Alright, here we go. We've got a couple of Wyverns on us now. Make sure that you have enough time to pretty much take off, because you can fly straight down if your sprint key does work. There we go. And you can already, we're outrunning them. You can see there, they're not able to keep up with us. And you can simply just fly back up, fly back down, and that allows you to build up plenty of momentum to outrun the Wyverns. And you just, you know, just need to escape from the scar, and you're set. There we go. Just like that, boom, bada, boom, you're easily able to outrun the Wyverns. Now, a little trick that I've picked up as well while flying on Griffins is that if you actually skim the ground, you do pick up a little bit of speed as well. So, you can see here, there you go, you can see there that you're actually able to run as well. Now, this running does take a little bit longer to run out than it does for regular flying, i found in my opinion. However, another little thing that you can do, if you're still unsure if you're going to outrun them, but you can see there, we're long gone from the Wyverns, is that you can actually skim the ground like the edge of a cliff, and you do like a four thing. Now, you actually hold on to the four speed until you hit the ground or start flying off again. We're going to try and pull it off for you guys here. But uh, anyone that's played Ark will surely know what I'm talking about. So let's see here if we can get it off. So pretty much what you need to do is you need to just skim along the ground as you're doing your dive bomb attack. All right, there we go. It should be high enough. All righty. Uh, let's come down here. And watch. I'll show you what I mean. So... Okay, that didn't work. That was great. And now we've lost the momentum. Wonderful. All right, here we go. Round two. So if you skim along the ground and you do that, there we go, you can see there you actually keep the speed. You will take fall damage if you don't stop yourself from hitting the ground, however, but that actually stops you from depleting your stamina as well as maintaining the momentum that the griffin picks up while diving. So it's a great way to get away from extra victims if you don't want to utilize stamina or anything like that. So yeah, just a little bit of an extra tip for you guys. Alrighty guys, well that'll conclude this Dino Builds video. Let me know what you thought of it down below. Let me know if you've got any other builds for the Griffin that you'd like to have seen. But other than that guys, thanks very much for watching and I hope to catch you in the next one. And I got this soda,